Hi, Becky. Thanks for hopping on with me. You know, I just wanted to pick your brain after coming back from a couple of nursing conferences. It seems there is a stronger commitment to nursing entrepreneurship. I'm I'm hearing this message come down the pike on um, putting nurse entrepreneurs in the spotlight to, to growing and developing nurse entrepreneurship. And I, you know, I thought of you. I mean, you're famous for being CIO for Intermount and um, also an entrepreneur yourself who, who launched your own product, you know, and a, a great mentor, someone who has been willing to, you know, give advice and, and support. So I wonder, I mean, I'm, I'm feeling this momentum, I'm hearing it in the messaging, and I wonder if this is a moment in time, if, if there's something different, um, and if it's a movement that's sustainable. And well, let's just start there. So yeah. Well, well, first of all, thank you so much for having me here. It's great to always connect with you. And, and to me, the, the environment has been changing and it's really exciting. You know, in the pandemic, we learned a lot of new things very quickly sometimes to help meet the needs of, of taking care of patients, to meet the needs of our staff. But what it really did was help catapult us into this kind of new way where we have to say we have to embrace an entrepreneurial spirit, really lean in, really jump in. Um, and really also listen to all of our caregivers or our colleagues at all levels of, in an organization to really continue to evolve healthcare. We know that there's a nursing shortage, for example. We know that we have to make some differences and who better to help design what that looks like in the future, the nurses. Of course, you know, we're getting ready, you know, AONL, very big focus on our nursing leadership. You know, I think there is some additional recognition that's been going on. But what I'd like to say is that I think we're just recognizing the value that nursing con nurses contribute. And again, at all levels of the organization, it's not necessarily an us versus them, but it's just really an opportunity for all nurses to get involved with designing, entrepreneurship, innovating, you know, changing the way that things have always been done. Um, I like to even call it modernizing the healthcare experience and really oh, yeah. changing things into the future. So I am really excited. I think it's here to stay. I don't think this is just a you know six uh -huh. month conference season type of uh, feeling. I do think that this is the time where that we can really be a part of the process and really collaborate with others to change things today and into the future. Yeah, it's good to hear. I mean, you know, taking an idea and bringing it to market is a slog. I, I don't care if it's interesting yeah. or have nurses at a healthcare system that have an idea and they're bringing it, you know, to light in their organization or an entrepreneur, you know, that's building an idea and, and bringing it to market. Um, nurses need to be designing products for nurses. Nobody knows our practice better than us. It's so exciting. Um, I, I want to know your thoughts, though, on um, would you do it again? And, you know, oh, yes. <laughs> for other nurses that are like, okay, I've got yeah. this idea and, you know, it, it feels like a, a mountain to climb. Well, the st startup space is definitely not for the faint of heart. You know, it can be, it's it's the, but it, yet at the same time, it's like can be the best roller coaster experience ever where you have, you know, some things that you think will be hard, will be easy. Some things that you think should be easy will be hard. But what I have been really inspired about being in the startup space is it really just fuels your passion for doing things differently, for really making a difference. Um, so you can, and it really kind of grounds you in that sense of um, of accomplishment that you can do great things. So I would say to any nurses out there that have an idea, jump in, find a place to vet your idea, to find support for it. Um, believe it or not, there's a lot of great mentors that have come into my life and, that have given me advice along the ways. And so, you know, believe it or not, you just have to ask and find the right people and surround yourself with that. And you'll be able to make a big difference in whatever your idea or entrepreneurship might be. Yeah, I mean, I think a really good example, Becky, is you. I mean, it's very intimidating, you know, to come up to you and say, you know, here's my journey and, and what's advice you've been so generous. And I, I really appreciate, you know, that you do spend time and you have this commitment um, to, you know, nurturing the the innovative and entrepreneurial spirit of other nurses. And it's been a lot to me. Um, so I, I would say the same thing. I mean, nurses who have an idea, it might be intimidating to reach out to somebody else, but do it because I, I feel this momentum, this desire for people who've been through the slog to help generate more nursing entrepreneurs and people getting their ideas out into the wild and practicing getting ideas out in the wild. I mean, you're not, it's not perfect at first, right? That's right. It's, 
Well, the other thing too, is I think, I think some nurses that I've talked to in the past have said, well, I need to be able to make something like a widget or, uh, you know, a complete new technology. And it doesn't have to be this grandiose thing that will save the world. I mean, that's awesome if you have that idea, but it can be very, something very simple. It's a, a modernization of how we do a current process. It could be a better improvement. You know, we, I'm sure you've heard the analogy of who can make a better broomstick, you know, like if there's something <laughs> that's very simple, that, but, but if it makes a difference, I mean, we just met a couple of weeks ago with um, some nursing leaders in uh, and bedside staff in Intermountain, and they were literally changing how we, you know, some of the equipment set up in the room, how do we make things easier to get medications out of vials? There's different things like that that can be very simple, but that is an entrepreneurial spirit. The other thing I would, I always tell people is don't sweat the small stuff when you're trying to try new ideas. And the second thing is really to not be afraid to reach out to others, to ask for their opinions, their advice, their honesty, and their guidance. And you'll be, you'll be surpri- surprised. There's lots of people out there that really want to help nurses be successful. They want to help nurses uh, make a difference in healthcare and to change things in the future. And you'll be surprised at how many people would be willing to help you. I love it. So what do you think? Are we going to be able to sustain this momentum in 2024? Is this the way things are going or is this just the moment? Kind of I hope so. I, I think that's the other thing, too, is, you know, when nurses have great success, they need to share those stories with others because that becomes really fuel, fuel and um, can drive your passion. Rebecca Love, I mean, we both know Rebecca. She's a big um, entrepreneurial spirit. And, you know, there was a couple of times uh, along my own personal journey where I thought, man, I can't keep doing this or this might be difficult. And, you know, a quick text from a colleague or somebody that, you know, will help support you and push you along can go a long way. So I would just say, you know, if you have an idea, jump in. If you have a new way of doing things, go for it and um, find the right people to surround you along the way. And you'll be surprised how things will turn out. I love it. I love it. Yep. I think this is, this is nursing now and it's just wonderful. Well, thank you as always for your time and being a champion and uh, I'll catch up with you soon. Sounds good. All right. Thanks. Mm -hmm.